Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil, and in this React Material UI video tutorial, we will learn about the container. We will see what is the container, why we use it, and how we can use it. And there is a kind of container. We will see everything about that also, right? And I put a one more word here, which is layout. Why I put it here, layout? Because container is basically a component, and this is a layout layout type of component. Why this is a layout type of component? Because container basically manages the layout, like height, width, margin, padding, and responsive side. That's why this is basically a layout kind of container. and uh, now of uh, first question is that what is the container basically container contain the uh, content of our web page right so let's say we have a lots of uh, container content here and we just want to wrap it inside a div then we will basically use a container and it have the lots of benefit we can just uh, provide the width of container by the screen size is like large screen size small screen size medium screen size mobile screen size and all right and we have the lots of uh, option for the container width so that it will just provide the responsive ui as well and uh, we can also have a one more property which is fix width it will automatically uh, guess the screen size and uh, contain the uh, all contents and shrink it according to the screen size also and make a better responsive website so let's see how it's actually work and how we can use it so first of all i am just going to import a container so just write here import and just write here some import something from and just write here material ui right and let's import a container when we import the container we need some content that's why i am just putting this uh, content inside the h1 tag inside the container right and now we don't have idea that how much area this container is actually grab and how much uh, it provide a margin and padding so that uh, i am just going to put a color here even we can know that uh, the width and height from the inspect element also like uh, here you can see that by default container takes a uh, 1280 pixel but uh, if we just provide the back uh, back end color background color then it will easy to guess the screen size with the container right so now let's just add here style uh, we have to use it on a container style and just use background color and uh, let's say this is a sky blue and uh, now you can see that this is the area for the by default container right if we use uh, lg or uh, container for the large screen size this will be the default by screen area right the uh, screen area so for example how we can use a different type of container so it's actually contain some values like uh, first it will use the lg for the large screen size then uh, it use the md for the medium screen size sm for the scroll small screen size and tab and then xs for the mobile screen size we will learn all of these so how we can use them one by one we will i will just tell you that if we use the max with here then uh, we can simply use here a property like lg lg means large desktop so it will provide a same area or same width you can see that to the div right here you can see that the same so if i just use uh, if i want to use uh, this container for the medium screen size then i can just put here md right and now you can see that this is a little bit small and uh, if i just put here sm that means this is screen size for the tablet like this and if i just put here xm xs then it will provide the more small screen size and this is basically a mobile screen size so if you just want to compare the all of them you can just simply uh make a copy and paste for all of them 3 and 4 and now let's use the xs sm md and 
here you can put here lg right and uh, whenever you will just shrink the screen size the size of uh, these content is also gonna small so you can just see like this just remove this one also and you can see that whenever we are just going to shrink this then all screen size will be on a small right like this so all right so one more uh, i hope you got the all the all of these things one more we have a very important container type which is fixed and this is mostly used for uh, the responsive website which is uh, a fixed property right yep and uh, if you just want to see that you can just put here fixed so that we can just guess it which which one which one is that by default this also have the one uh 1280 pixel screen size but uh, it will just uh, automatically uh, reduce the screen size also like uh, if i just shrink it uh, whenever we just uh, uh, we are just uh, less than the 1280 then it will just com uh, contain the medium screen size when we just come to the more small screen then it will just contain to the xm screen uh, sm screen size also keep in mind this will not gonna catch uh, the basically you can say that the xm it will just uh, use the three screen size which is the first of all it will just convert it in the lg then md then sm it will not convert it in the xm so these are the all for the container type and you can say that the all screen size this we learn if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care